Welcome to Highly Sprung. Uh, let's see. B700 Hot Hatch. And uh, these are the tracks. Of course, we get mud kickers because yay. And these are the cars you can use. Well, some of them anyway. Far from all of them. Nope. Mm, yep. Actually, quite a lot missing. Anyway. Uh. Considering it's spring and we're in the UK. I can't guarantee good weather for this championship. And what I, I can guarantee is that it'll be fun come rain or shine. And I can't guarantee I won't hate you even more. <sighs> so, I am going to suggest that you Turn off traction control and stability control because this is only a B700 car and some of those tight corners Yeah, you're gonna kill the engine and stand still basically and it's gonna suck mm -hmm. So, here we go And let's just start the race Now this first corner you want to stay over here on the left side the handbrake and you're not on rally tires and unfortunately it shows but, yeah blame the developers had this been a800 of course there would have been rally tires and it would have been a lot more fun uh, b700 is not fun not a hot patch on road, off road. On the muddiest courses in the game, pretty much. Uh, this really tight hairpin brake, handbrake turn. And that's how you do that. I can't even tell that it's made by surrender monkeys anymore. Hmm. And in case you haven't watched any of the other videos from this week, this is not my tune. This is a friend of mine, El Supremo DK. Uh, DK just means Denmark. And he has made some insanely good tunes for you guys. made some really really good tunes uh, for the races this week and like you can see we're like smashing the AI really. well, it's almost too easy um, and if you haven't watched the trial video go do so because damn <laughs> we not only beat them we destroyed them completely um, so yeah I highly recommend uh, his tunes this week they are really good <sighs> see mud kickers 4x4 scramble is not a rally track it should not be a rally track and it is completely stupid that it's a rally track <sighs> Um, but there's a top tip for this track. Uh, once you get to the jumps, I'll show you. Um, 
because B700, you cannot just keep the accelerator down or it's going to nosedive on one of the jumps and you're going to tumble over yourself and it's going to look stupid and... Whoa! <laughs> Maybe a little bit too fast there. So the first one here is okay. And then you want to slow down just a little bit going up the hill uh, on the middle jump there. Um, just to make sure you land on the middle instead of, you know, right on the edge and it's just going to bounce and you're going to nosedive into the next little, well, I'm going to say lake, but let's call it a puddle. And it's going to tumble and do the somersault and it's going to look stupid and the AI is going to catch up. So let's build up a bit of uh, distance to the AI and I'm going to show you on the last lap what happens if you keep the accelerator down. Like 9 out of 10 times it's going to tumble. Uh, it is possible to do it just right and then it's really just let go of the accelerator going uphill and you'll be fine and on the next pass I'm gonna try and just go full speed and yeah, probably just gonna go extremely well when I'm trying to show you how bad it is So, let's just floor it. And it went well, of course it did. Normally the back wheels will catch on the edge and you'll just tumble over. This is a little bit faster, but... I mean, the car is very overpowered and the AI are stupid, so... Nine out of ten times that will go very, very differently, of course. So, whatever, it's up to you. You'll figure it out. Do we? So, what's the last one? Uh, oh, yeah. And if you're sitting there going... Well, why the hell aren't you showing that Ferrari race that'll give me that Ferrari drift car? I need that Ferrari drift car more than a drug addict needs heroin. Uh, I know. And I don't give a shit. <laughs> How about that? And I really, really don't. It's a fucking drift car. I don't care. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. So on this one, stay to the left again. Because once you get to the corner, you can just do something like this. And gain quite a few positions.
I'm actually thinking the developers, they forgot about A800 for some reason. Um, every, everything seems to either be S1 or B700. Or, well, S2, of course. S2, S1, and B700. Unless it's off-roading. Off-roading, we can have A800. Uh, but that's only for the trial, uh, just to make sure that the AI really is unbeatable. I mean, if you look at this uh, Series 21, that's four seasons, starting with summer. It's been, what, off-road buggies, uh, off-road again, I think. Yeah, uh, then, uh, no, what was it? No, it was dirt racing, sorry. Off-road buggies, then B700 dirt racing, uh, then extreme A800 extreme off-road, and now road racing. So, two off-road, one dirt, and one road racing. And that's knowing that the AI is very, very bugged on off-road and dirt. That's brilliant. Can't wait to see what they figure next. I mean, <sighs> yay, I want to run on Cleo. Whee! I'm so happy. Let me guess. No, no wheel spin. That's what you have to do. Remember to like. So, the car, yes, yes. The car I'm using is the 2010 Renault Clio RS. And the tune I'm using, oh, right, I can't do that. Yes, yes, go away. Is, well, it's actually that one. Hmm. And there's the share code. And do, do, do remember to like it because I know he really worked hard on these and he did a very good job, in my opinion. Um, also, El Supremo DK. Follow him. Use his tunes. That's an order for me. Hmm? Um, anyway, if you have to use one of his tunes, please remember to like it, and the same goes for the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.